So there are 11 major muscle groups in the body, and I'm just going to go through them really quickly. I'm not going to talk too much about the names of the muscles, but I want you to get a sense for where they're located on the body. So the arm, the leg, and the core. And I'll write that over here. So the 11 groups, there are three, actually four in the arm, three in the leg, and four in the core. And just being familiar with where these muscles are is actually really, really helpful and powerful because when you go to the gym or you're working out somewhere else, uh, it's important to stretch these muscle groups out. It's important to also focus on each one and try to figure out which one is weak or strong and develop whichever one is uh, imbalanced. Sometimes the left and the right side are not uh, equal in their strength. So it's important to be aware of where they're located, and we're going to go through that really quickly right now. So. Let's do the arm first. You have first the forearm, and you can see that one the best from the front. And above that, you have the bicep. That's about right there. This is your bicep. And behind the bicep, actually on the other side, is the tricep. That's right there. And above both the bicep and the tricep is the shoulder. And actually, I'm going to draw that right there. You can actually see it from the front and the back. I'm just going to draw it right there, just for simplicity. So those are the four arm muscles. And now let's just jump down to the leg and put in the quads. This is your quadricep. And this is actually called the quadricep because it's actually four different muscles working together. And below the quads, or actually on the other side of the quads rather, is your hamstring. So right here is your hamstring. And I want to give a special kind of shout out to the hamstring because it does a lot of work and a lot of people forget to stretch it out and you can often get in a lot of pain from not having a, a good stretched out hamstring. Below it is the calf. Here's the calf. And the calf is uh, actually sitting on the opposite side of the uh, bones in the lower leg, the tibia and the fibula, which is why it's so bony on the front part of your lower leg, but on the back it's very meaty and muscly. So you have three leg muscles there, and now let's put in the core muscles. So you have, uh, let's do the, the front first. So right here is where people talk about getting a six pack, your abs. That's an important muscle group, helps you do sit ups. And above it is your chest. So right here is your chest. And so there are two in the front. And similarly, there are two in the back. And so the back ones, um, let me do in yellow, are your trapezius. And trapezius actually kind of comes down like a diamond almost, kind of like that. And it helps with the neck and upper back. And then almost like you have uh, wings in a way, you have two other muscles, or actually another muscle with two sides on it called the latissimus dorsi, and it's actually kind of the large spread out muscle, and I'm not drawing all of it, but basically kind of spreads all the way through your back. And this is the major muscle of your back. So when people say, you know, I threw out my back, uh, oftentimes if it's the lower back, they're talking about their latissimus dorsi. And that means that we have now our four core muscles shown up here as well. So counting them out, we've got are 11 muscle groups. And so just to, um, again, go over it very quickly, we've got one shoulder, bicep, forearm, and tricep. In our leg, we have our quads, our hamstring, and our calf. And then in the core of our body, we have our abs, our chest, our upper back, which would be the trapezius, and the lower back, which is the latissimus dorsi. Those are 11 groups.